Check this out, this is the new Sportable Power Station from World Power. Super compact as you can see, but this thing packs a punch. 1,280 watt hours of capacity, 1,500 watts of output power, newest fast charging tech in there, AC and solar charging of course. And as you can see, I also have panels. It's one big foldable panel, but it's actually mid-sized. Very excited to test it. So is their newest invention as good as it seems? Let's find out. I got the new drip from World Power, the Pioneer 1500, their newest portable compact power station. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. And now let's check it out. So as you can see, I already unboxed it off screen. This is what the box looked like. And on top we had the accessories, box with the accessories. Okay, so let's actually start with them. And in here we of course have all the cables, four to be specific. So we have the car adapter to XT60, then we have the Solar to XT60, then we have the multi-plug with the XT90, massive, massive plugs. And we will also get a regular cable for charging it with AC of course. And not to forget, aside from the cables, I also got the panel. And this is a mid-sized panel you know, for angling them up if you put them on the ground, but I'm going to hang them up. I've already prepared these holes right here. Can't wait to test it out. I'm actually so hyped for this. And on the back, we have this pouch right here. And this is actually a really neat, neat system because we not only have the adapters for the solar connectors, we also have a separate box in here, just integrated with two USB-A's and one USB-C and also DC 20 volt and DC 12 volt outs. How cool is that? Check this out. So you don't necessarily need the power station to be able to use this. This is just awesome. And we will take a closer look at the panel when we actually mount it because it's kind of hard to show on the camera because it's that large. But yeah, it has a really nice carrying handle, super convenient, super portable and you can also hang it up. Done with the unboxing, let's get to my first impressions and then to a close overview. And here we have the power station itself. It's looking really cool. I like the design. It's an ABS shell. Let's also remove this little screen. Actually, I will leave it on. Why not? I just ripped off this little tab. Screen protector is always good to have and press and hold will turn it on. And the screen is also looking really cool. All the ports are of course covered with flaps and you can turn them on and off separately. Nice carrying handle on top. And we also have a wireless charging on top. Really nice device, so let's take a close look. So on top we have the charging base and also the handle, really cool handle. And if you want to use it, you need to activate it. Ah. Yes. So what I just did was turning on the DC with just the press of a button. DC, USB and AC on off. These are all the symbols that you will get. And as you can see, this is the this multi port for DC on off. And we also have these two plugs up here tons of USB-C ports and USB-A. So we have four USB-C ports. So nice for charging multiple USB-C devices. Then we have the charging area right here. This one for the solar and this one for the AC charging. In my case, this sample can be charged with 600 watts, but for the new ones that you can buy right now, they bumped it up, they improved it. And now it's up to 800 watts. And we also have two AC outlets with 1,500 watts of output power. But be aware that just having this on, it will draw a bit of idling power. So that's the reason why you can control them separately. Check this out, just having them all turned on, this battery will be drained in 20 hours. So always turn off the things that you don't need. Nice flaps and yeah, that's the front side. Really cool design, nice edges. It's just looking really cool. I really like it. And it's also not that heavy for the size, for the capacity actually. Check this out. This is looking so cool. And you can, well, it just turn itself off. There was the fan, fairly silent. And on the other side as well. This is for cooling, of course. Then lastly, we have the back side, which is just blank, as you can see, aside from this nice stripes, the design. And lastly, 
we have the bottom right here. So we have two rubber feet all the way across and of course all the specs and details right here. And as I said, 600 watts of AC charge, ignore that, it's now 800 watts for the new model. Pioneer 1500, perfect. Not bad, right? So let's finally test it. As you saw, the panel can be used as a standalone power generator, also with tons and tons of USB outputs. But this one is, of course, even better, and I already played around with it a bit. This is perfect if you have a phone, a tablet, action cameras, sorts, all sorts of devices. This is a, a game changer for me because it ha I have four phones, two tablets, and like five action cameras from all the reviews. I tend to hoard my stuff, and then I end up with just a lot of stuff. And what gets me so excited? So you, of course, need to turn it on. Boom, and then turn on the USB-C. All of them offer fast charging, which is really handy too. Yeah, and what gets me so excited is the free energy that you can create with this thing. I already have a balcony power station going, but there is just a little bit of space left. This panel is coincidentally just perfect for it. So I will hang up the panel and then I can charge the power station and literally free energy the whole day. That means I can power all my devices for free with this thing. And it's the exact same situation when you take this outdoors, when you take it with your camping, for example, you can keep all your devices charged up indefinitely. And the best thing is when I charge my phones, as I said, fast charging, all of them offer the super fast, fast charging standards. And in just around one hour, all of them are at 100% and it only uses like 3% or something like that of the total power. So you basically can charge it up with one day, with one sunny day, and then use it around a month for keeping your devices charged. So yeah, it's amazing. And now let's actually take it outside. Panels down here, one up here. Most of the space is taken, but there is still this and now check this out coincidentally isn't that perfect so here we go as i said it's just perfect carabiners up there here a bit of paracord to prevent it from going completely crazy in the wind the cable has a good length to it no problem so i will be able to move it a bit more in the shadow and now let's just plug it in and let's see what will happen look how perfect it is literally perfect. Yeah, now let's go for a time lapse. Well, I think the time lapse was completely unnecessary. <laughs> so from 72 to 86, it's like 14%. As you saw, the day was fairly cloudy, so not too bad. Also, it was only half the day. So if you actually place this on the floor and align it to the sun, with the sun, I guess, then I think this panel should be at least able to charge this up a good 50%, and that's pretty nice. And that is easily enough for all phones and tablets. Yeah, and lastly, let's test the AC. Since it's so light and portable, I think a great use case would actually be to use it to power filming film lights for example so i have my main studio light right here let's power it on and then boom let's go as you can hear the fans will now start wow it's drawing 300 watts that's quite a power hungry light and I'm, it's also powering this one right there so that's no problem of course that's just a fifth of what it can do and there is also a second socket down here so let's try something that's even more power hungry namely this air fryer so let me turn that off Plug it in and let's see. Oh my goodness. Wow. Not too bad. And plus the light. Yes. That's already hitting the limit, I guess. Wow, but it, it actually it actually can sustain both of it. Wow. That is one powerful power station right there. That is amazing. Check this out. A true 1,500 watts of output power. Amazing. For special use cases, you also have this right here. That's the port right there. And with this, you can power all sorts of car appliances. You can power 12 volt devices up to 20 amps and 24 volt devices up to 20 amps. That means 480 watts of total output power is possible. And the plug also has this locking mechanism. This is easily powerful enough to power vacuums inverters, mini fridges, you name it. Compact, tiny, portable, powerful. So definitely a big thumbs up from my side. Really nice power station. 
Again, just in case this sample right here has 600 watts of AC and solar charging, but they recently improved this stat to 800 watts. And that means the charging time is now even faster and will be reduced to just 1.2 hours. Mind blowingly fast if you ask me. And yeah, as you saw, this little thing is epic. While it's charging on top, it looks really cool and spacey. It has all the bleeding edge tech in there, tons and tons of USB ports for charging all sorts of USB-C, uh, USB-A devices, you name it, six of them, it's amazing. Also decent AC output power and also 12 volt, 20 amp and 24 volt, 20 amp outputs, not to forget. Great build quality all in all and the body, as I said, it just looks amazing. And moreover, it is also fire resistant. The shell is made out of ABS and PC, well, it's a composite material and thanks to that, it has the anti-fire standard UL94-V0. So yeah, Powerful, portable, compact, safe, and also definitely drippy. Check out the product links in the description. I will listen, link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy it and I will see you soon.